name is Frank Everett, and welcome to Frank's Files. Welcome to Sotheby's. I am so excited today to welcome my guest, Christian Hemmerly, who is visiting all the way from Munich. Kristen, this is a dream come true for me because we've talked for many years about working together and talking about your jewelry in a video format. So thank you very much for joining us. And we're gonna talk about the founding of Hammerly. We're gonna talk about some of the things that make it such a unique collection. And, um, and let's just jump right in. So Christian, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the founding of the, of the company? First of all, thank you for having me. Um, I know these are you know, special circumstances and I'm very proud to be here. If we talk about the founding, I think the most important element of our company has always been our workshop. Mm. Our workshop has been around for many, many years and uh, my great-grandfather asked his brother to found Hemmerle Brothers in 1893. And um, they've uh, done some advertisement cards at the time, which are found during our 125th anniversary. It says we're doing ornaments, enamel, and cheap repairs. <laughs> we have slightly pivoted since then. <laughs> no more cheap repairs. <laughs> no more cheap repairs. And, uh, you know, we, um, we are specialized in making one-of-a-kind pieces and making great ideas with, with no boundaries um, to, to great jewels, really. What jumps out to me first and foremost is the unique metals that you use. In fine jewelry, we're just not accustomed to seeing iron and bronze and copper. So not just the materials, but also the patination techniques that you use to achieve certain colors. Many people ask us, why do you use copper? Why do you use aluminum? We, we simply do because we want to find the best home for each gemstone. Yeah. Jewelry isn't limited to ruby, sapphire, emerald and diamond. Nature has created that many gemstones. The same goes for materials. You have copper, you have aluminum. Within copper you have patination techniques. Within aluminum you have the, the possibilities of anodizing into many, many variations of colors. When we started to er experiment on that end, Somebody told us you can achieve maybe six colors. I think we are at number 100 or something. <laughs> uh, so, you know, we, we, we are Not really to be outdone. <laughs> we're, we're really alchemists. Let's talk about a client that was a, a huge fan of your jewels, obviously, Michelle Smith. We're very privileged at Sotheby's this season to be selling the collection of Michelle Smith. Her jewels were beautiful, and this includes the largest selection of Hemmerly jewels ever to come to auction, the largest single owner group, 22 pieces in total. So you must have had a long relationship with her as a client, yes? It is more of a friendship mm -hmm. after a while. Um, because you know you, you you get to spend special moments with um, yeah. with these friends, and um, it's so wonderful to see all these pieces here together. We were privileged also to spend time in the apartment, and you simply cannot separate the aesthetic of her jewelry collection from everything else that she owned, whether it was um, design, furniture, art. She had a vision, truly, which is the, the title of her, of her sale. It couldn't be more fitting. Really Absolutely, had a vision. Yeah. And so many of the textures, and she preferred clearly kind of a, a monochromatic, almost a neutral color palette. She was a fan of earth colors. Earth colors, right. And um, her curation was so uh, determined. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think that's also something wonderful to see as somebody um, who wants to find the best homes yeah. for, um, for for our jewels. Let's just jump right in. So Christian, tell me about this technique in this beading. We so, talked about this earlier and I'd love to learn more about, about what this is. It's an Austrian glass bead technique, which we have revived with a lady and a husband. Ah. They sit together, um, he sorts, she weaves. And weaves them, so they're actually woven beads. They're woven beads and they're all different sizes. Beautiful. And then wood, um, beautiful wood pieces, the necklace here of a variety of different woods. And then this bracelet is just one of my favorites. So simple, but really striking. You know, wood, wood is always a wonderful material for jewelry making. It's there, yeah. it's so light. And in this example, I mean, it's, it's the Harmony Banger, which actually has, has a little birthday this year. This design. This design, exactly. Even though it is very important to have a one-of-a-kind jewel, it is very important to have a language that you recognize a Hamele piece. Yeah. And that is, you know, the people who know, know. Yeah. The people who don't know, don't know. So many gorgeous things. This is one of my favorite pieces, this ring um, with the Spessartite garnet set in copper. So both it's colored... A, it's a Malaya garnet. 
Oh, it is. It is. Ah, it is, and it's it's a fantastic workmanship because every bead is copper patinated in an oven, mm. and to get it that orange, we have to do our magic. Yeah. And um, then you know the, the the piece was assembled together, and every piece is like it's it's a tedious work, but it's a great outcome. I feel when I see these pieces, I I, I see what the the craftsman went through to achieve this to achieve this, this perfection. Your jewelry in general, but specifically the Michelle Smith collection, I think really speaks to just that very subtle elegance. Nothing shouts, nothing screams too loudly. It's, no better words could have described her. It's really yes. just a beautiful, harmonious look. Harmony, I yes. think, is a word that pops out. And again, when you were in the apartment as you were, you just see that transitioning to everything in her life. Well, it's a fantastic collection. We are privileged um, to have it here at Sotheby's. And thank you very much for taking the time to visit with us today. Thank you, Frank. I'm very happy that this you know, is, is taken care so well, especially by you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much.